Everyone's favorite cheer-ups return and things sure do happen. It doesn't explain anything. Hi guys, no need to fear, KJ2K Vortex is here and uh... <sighs> I'm scared. Like, I want to watch it, but at the same time, I don't want to because I know it's like so when sad. Ooh, I'm back. We're doing another reaction video, and the most anticipated full moon episode has arrived. Oh, I can't do this! I can't do this! I can't do this! Vivian said that this episode will be out on Friday during MomoCon, which, keep in mind, I just uploaded a vlog of my experiences going to MomoCon for the first time, and boy, I had a blast in Atlanta going to MomoCon. It's just the best day that I've ever get to experience. I've met so much of the cast of Hell of a Boss, including the creator. Like, I met Bryce Pinkham, Richard Horvitz, and the creator. Heck, I even got this lovely poster from Richard. Yes, and I even have the Stolas poster from Bryce Pinkham. Where is it? See how lovely this looked? I just want to like, tell you more about my experience going to MomoCon. Like, I was dealing with excitement. But more of that because when I literally just vlogged my experience. As YouTube kids watch the vlog, the link is in the description down below. But oh, I can't do this! I can't do this, man! Wait a second. You're probably wondering why I'm doing a reaction video after it's been a while. Counter argument. If you see my Lost on Podcast videos, you can clearly see those Lost on Podcast videos of me and my friends discussing about the various Hell of a Boss episodes. And I'm planning to do this eighth one, which I'm done here. I'll leave the playlist of the Hell of a Boss podcast topics are in the description down below as well but i'm really want to bite my time but i just don't feel like watching this episode because my heart's going to break my heart was literally racing the moment i find out it's finally here Ugh. 23 minutes is going to be torture i can't do this i can't do this i can't do this i can't do this oh my gosh it's like each and every new episode is out you are literally so invested like i want to go on the full moon where we left off we know Stolas was about to deliver the crystal. We saw the Just Look My Way video. Oh my god. It's just... Okay. And I just realized within the next couple months will give us apology towards. So this is great. What a great summer we're going to start off with. Okay. I'm going to press play right now. But not until we're going to start this off by the most famous words of Joker himself. And here we go. Us I'm scared. 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 I'm gonna have this poster with me. I don't care if it's a poster. Oh! I was a little fluffy down nesting. My daring do is hard to Behind the smile, my voice that says I'm not enough. No need for an Three it can just, it's been a while since he's begged for attention. Are we okay? <laughs> Can't really say. Brandon. Lie, and it's working out just fine. We'll keep it live for fun. Stop. He's only here as a prisoner. Ooh. What kind of monster does that make me? It's a choice to say or go. Though it scares me to think what I lose. Oh. Oh. I can't. please him? Or okay. will I just be fucking it all up? Will this be a relationship, or am I still naive, I'll set us free, whatever it may be, when I see him tonight? Stop. Bryce Pinkham. Sure hope what? this last doesn't break. Oh! Stop. I need to pause because I need to like digest. I need to... I'm speechless. It's been like what? Three minutes? Bryce Pinkham and Brendan Rogers. They really pulled out the stunts for this song. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh. Like. So we just transitioned to hell, to earth with that flower. That transition looks so nice. Who 
is the uh, woman that's in disguise. I don't believe that's Lily a baby. I refuse to believe that's a baby. Thank you, thank you. How can I ever pay you? No need, ma'am. I was just in the right place at the right time. <sighs> it's the chub. I knew it. I knew it's not a baby. I knew it was. Because look at the hand. Let me go back. Because you can literally right just place. see, based on the hand, that's literally one of the cherubs. Because I knew it was a baby. Like, I'm not stupid. Did you have to hug him so hard? Or, I'm at underwear level, you know. And oh, like, I, I did. I know why they're stealing because they're clearly... complaining. I had to... Yeah, because I remember because at this point they were fired from the cherub job. And at this point they're homeless. They tried... They need the money to try at least find somewhere to go. Like, there's literally nowhere to go at this point. We are still helping people. We just provided that man with an opportunity to be selfless and heroic. After that performance, Hypocrite. he's sure to get into heaven. We just I saved mean, the soul. We want to live long enough to save more souls and earn our way back into and heaven. And I just realized they're angels. So technically, angels doesn't, don't die. This is so confusing. Like, they're basically angels. So technically... Yeah, the lore is so confusing. Of course, I just... Uh, oh, and the camera I just saw earlier has to be the, um... Dorks. Yeah, it's the dorks. Wait, and the ones in the cloth. I'm now starting to put two and two together because I literally saw the trailer at the cloth the people. Um... It, I think all of this is happening in the, uh... When they were running away from the cloth demons. Could this be happening here in the eighth episode? Now I'm really starting what to put two together. Day this is. <laughs> so ironic you say that because uh What happened here? Oh shit. He's getting bored of you. Oh hey. yeah, man. If someone wants to see you less and less, big red flag. If yeah. they give you chances to ditch, they probably want out themselves. Just want to be more passive aggressive about it. Luna! Dicks. Oh my goodness. I love the fact that Luna is finally getting her voice back. Yeah, it's about a while. It's been a long while since we've seen Luna. This is making me even more scared about the end egg and what's going to fully happen once they meet up. Oh. How do you know, Luna? And she's just up and left? Let's go! Uh, <laughs> uh, me, Moxie, we've used like all the shit in this box. Uh, if Stolas is bored after this, I, I what is that? Moxie, what overdue paperwork? Wow, just give to Mo I can't. Moxie's just getting more and more fed up. Come with us. I can't. What is it? Oh my gosh. What? No, no. Oh my gosh. Not the. Go back. I can't. Not the Luna. That's. This is hilarious. So far, we've only been able to open the portal That's like really six feet in diameter, hardly big enough to fit a child through. And we can't or well as the the They're gonna use the child to go through. What? Damn American heroes. Honestly. Those trucks look so amazing on these, I cannot lie. And the one dressing up as Luna. Why did I get the feeling that Blink would know that this is like Luna? And they just left Luna. Oh, I love that. They just said, nope. <laughs> I love the callback. It's like, nope, Luna. It's like the fact they made a callback in which Luna rarely appeared in the episode. It's like, nope, Luna takes the backseat. I can't with them. I cannot. I cannot. Why would you do this? I mean, thank goodness Erica Lynn back is back. You got anything that'll get anyone in the mood, buddy? Bitch, you're in the lust ring. Everything here is sexy. Where is that Richard Horvitz? What kind of mood are you in? I get it. He's the voice director, but I can't believe. I just realized that's just that's literally Richard Horvitz. Oh my goodness, he really 
at this point, I know he's a voice director, and he can voice pretty much every any single character I can immediately recognize. That's Mo first Moxie, then his father Crimson, and now this whoever this guy is. I help you oh my out. God! Hello, fellow Hi, Why is this so? I literally thought he would notice his voice, but like, no, I get it. It's been a while. It's been like a season. Oh god, they're watching me so bad. want to leave so bad. Oh my gosh, those cherubs, I can't. Thanks for doing me this solid Oh, hello, Mr. Raleigh. Hi, it's been a pleasure. I'm really, really happy that those two are friends again. Like, it's been a while since they've seen me. We have some stylish blindfolds. Our new collection has encrusted jewels. Oh, shit. Oh, goodness. And if you're feeling this is... really frisky, we have the new Dragon Driller 5000. What? Vibration. <laughs> Dear God. He's gonna use that are literally being traumatized. We have to stop him. Yeah, and those, and those shirts with the eyes, they're just using these Remember like explicit things to kill someone, but no. Oh my God. Oh, is that Millie? Oh, hi. Thank you, man. That's Millie arrived at a good Jeff. time. We were already following our dumbass boss to make sure he doesn't fuck up and lose our meal tickets. Oh, thank goodness they followed. Thank goodness they followed him and, uh, to make sure nothing ha bad happens, but yeah. <laughs> wow. And we only have like, what, nine minutes left? I'm scared. Oh my goodness, and Prince is being so oblivious! Oh my god, I cannot. Oh my god. Oh, what the... Oh my god, I can't! Oh, clever! No wonder why you shot at the, um, a oh, clever. You want to land directly into the pool, but that's clever. That's good. Did not go well. But this one is gonna go really emotionally. I have the tissues. Still have this poster. So let's see what happens. Do you <clears throat> do you have my book, please? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, it's right here. I always bring it. Why do you? I need it back permanently. No, no, no. Hold, hold on, Stolas. Come on. No, is this because he... I've taken up skipping a few rounds with you in bed because oh I'm God. busy? That ain't fair. I've made up my mind. Stolas, please. Do I, I need this book. Please. I need this book, Stolas. Oh. I will do anything. Oh, please. This is an Asmodian crystal. It's registered in your name. Uh, what? Asmodeus oh. has his gene. Exactly. You no longer need my grimoire. What? You yeah. no longer have any obligation to see me, to touch me, to bed me. You are. You oh are my free God! Of me. I Stop. don't understand. Why are you giving me this? I'm giving you this because I care very deeply for you. Wow! And I have for some time. But this transactional thing we have—it's not right anymore. It hasn't been. It oh never was. God. And now. All I can see is how wrong it is to be so tethered to someone in such an unfair way and not know how they feel. You don't have to stay here with me. But I want you to. I want you to stay here with me because I, you want to. He says, oh, now I can see it. Like, he doesn't have to stay with him by force. He wants him to have his choice to like stay with him if he wants to stay with him. He's giving him the choice to do so. Oh, yeah. You're making me so happy, even if only for a little while. Oh my God! And now Bliss is going to take it as a breakup. I with your business. I have wanted you for so long. Yeah, because he loves. not believe that I might have these feelings about you. That your first instinct is that it's always. 
about sex. Yeah. That's enough to know what this is. What? Fuck you, Stolas. You spring this feelings bullshit on me. Are you fucking kidding? Can I get a fucking minute to oh think my God. after everything you put me through, you pompous, rich asshole? Treat me like one of your little butler imps. You can't just dismiss me like that. I mean, you royal fucks think you can do this every um, time. Like, you can just play with our feelings because we're smaller and stop. not as important. Let's go! Why is Brendan Rogers' performance as positive as this? God, stop! I think so very highly of you. Why? Wow. I didn't realize you think so low of me. Oh my god! Oh. Goodbye, Blitz. Stars, wait! I'm... Oh god! What? The fuck? I cannot. That's where you're ending it? That's how you end the episode. No, what's that? That's how you. I don't understand it. First things first. Brandon Rogers. Where is your Emmy Award? How are you spending all this time being a YouTuber when you should be like a professional actor getting Emmys? Bryce Pinkham. Where's your Tony Award? Because his singing voice and his acting with Chef's Kiss. All right, so that was one hell of a episode of Hell of a Boss. Get it? Hell of a, since Hell of a is like the title of Hell of a Boss. Thing. Anywho, what an emotional roller coaster of the episode that is a highly anticipated episode that is the full moon. I knew crap will hit the fan in the final like ending. I knew the ending will not go so well. I took a long like two, five, ten minutes to like process everything that happened and the ending was the most emotional I've ever felt in my whole life. And Brandon Rogers, Bryce Pinkham, they both delivered in their lines so perfectly. They delivered, the voice acting was such a chef kiss. And this whole breakup, yeah, poor Blitz at this point. Blitz literally sees this crystal, the fact that Stolas is giving it to him, he sees this as like a breakup. The fact that Blitz literally took one step forward with Fizzerali only to take two steps back with Stolos. And the lack of communication, yeah, the lack of communication between those two is just getting out of hand at this point. And this is like, I feel like when it comes to Apology Tour and then the rest of the last uh, other seasons going forward, this is literally the beginning of Blitz's downfall. This is the beginning of the absolute downfall of Blitz. Given the fact, oh, I just realized Blitz literally has the uh, crystal that Stolas gave him on his wrist. And now he has to seize this crystal on his wrist, knowing that he basically ended the relationship with Stolas. He know he screwed up. He screwed up big time. And, and now, seeing Fizzarali in this episode, it makes me even more concerned because I feel like with Blitz re already rebuilding that bridge with Fizzarali on Oops is going to be the downfall. Like he destroyed the bridge between him and Stolas. And then the bridge is already destroyed between him and his sister Fiberwire. And now it's just going to get even worse with him and Fizzarali. And oh my god, this so much is going to happen. So much of his downfall is about to happen in Apology Tour, which is literally going to be weeks away. I also want to address about two different point of views on this tragic ending that we saw from the episode. From Stolas's point of view, he basically just confessed his love and all he got was just Blitz blinking, breaking up with him which broke his heart. Hence we saw in the trailer, we saw him performing with the background saying Blitz sucks along with Verasica and Vortex, am I right? Yeah, we saw that further in the trailer and this is, might be the beginning of the downfall with Stolas, hence why there was this trial of the Gorisa. From Blitz's point of view, it's tragic for him at this point because he hated himself so much 
that he even felt like Stolas never even really liked him. That Stolas was basically just using them for sex. The fact that he literally had to pour out everything, pour out his own feelings about Stolas, and he realized too late the moment he kicked him out, Stolas was basically just telling the truth of, you know, Stolas actually professing his love to Blitz, and he realized too late to take back everything that he said. Is like I said, it's the beginning of his downfall. It's literally the beginning of his downfall. But I feel like when we saw in the trailer with uh, Blitz saving Stolas, I think something is going to happen. This is this is so much is happening. So much is happening because we saw it, and oh, this giving even more and more invested with the show and the characters. It's you know what I mean. But still, like I'm really even scared about season two further on after this episode because the fact that Blitz destroyed his relationship with Stolas, I feel I'm afraid that he's most likely going to redestroy. He's going to destroy the relationship with Veronica even further and redestroy the relationship that he just rebuild it with Fizzarelli. <sighs> Ooh, this is getting ridiculous. Anywho, I cannot wait for Apology Tour. Like I can't wait, but I just don't want it. Ugh. You get what I mean? Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Click on the notification bell so that way you won't miss out on any more of the videos between... Why do I usually say that? Usually I do say that between me and my friends when it comes to talking about animation topics. But usually this is my OG, so... Whew. I need to process everything that just happened. By the way, I will be discussing about the Hell of a Boss episode that is the full moon on my Lost awesome Official with me and my friends. With that said, I bid you peace. Bye!